way we can use this is actually to observe. You can see this is the continuous spectrum of the sky. And let me just press confirm. Of course, uh, uh, we didn't program in the identification. But no, mat no matter what, you can actually see that this is actually a continuous spectrum. Another way we can use this is actually to find out uh, what color an object is. So for example, I have this red pillow. If you want to try to describe somebody, uh, I want this specific red. You can actually just point to the red, uh, the sunlight and press confirm. Then you can tell them, oh, actually I want a 623 nanometer red. That will be more precise than just saying red. And of course, uh, this you will say is green, but upon observation, you can see that it's not a pure green, but actually consists of a blue light, which is of 507 nanometer, combined with the green peak, which is of 553 nanometer.